My name's uh, Steve Morin. I'm a 38 year old Army combat vet. I like to uh, work out, go on hikes, uh, spend all the time I can with my son, try to do things with youth athletics and other veterans, bringing them to train and also talk after training periods. Actually, I found out about Titan and uh, I was living in Cape Coral, Florida, and Dave Palumbo was at the gym that I worked out at. Um, and I heard him talking to other people and he came up to us and told us about Titan. And without a hesitation, I went in to do some research and found nothing but great things about it. Called up and became family instantly with them. Uh, Titan's helped me amazingly. Um, with a brain injury, I found that taking testosterone replacement therapy really brings out the cognitive brain function also bringing me up to a physical peak uh, to where I need to push myself to every single day to have that full recovery and the go-getting that I need to do to, to survive day to day. So I used it to really help me get back on, on track. You know, I'm a single father, so I was like, I needed something and I wasn't gonna go the other routes with all the pills and this and that. It's like, I'll try every therapy possible before those types of medications. And TRTs saved my life. Our levels, especially being, you know, in your mid-20s, early 30s, your levels are at, are at the highest. But when you get and you stay on those levels, and when, like when I came back and got, you know, the brain injury and everything, my levels were going down. So like my baseline was, was nothing. So being on TRT kind of got me back to that baseline and then some. I knew, you know, about it before, obviously, in the military and stuff like that. Because it's, it's one of those things where you want to do it to the left and right, you'd be out there best. And that's nothing but, you know, the natural ability. You bring them to their levels where they're supposed to be, you know, you're good to go. And that's how I've always been. So, so I got into like that research with it and then started doing it. And uh, just saw so much and was like, all right. And with these guys, Titan, they, you know, you get your lab done. You're always, they keep you up to date with it. So there's no, for me, there's no like anxiety of how my blood work is. Is this going, blah, blah. You take every like all that stress away from me just to kind of live and, and do my life because you know? it helps so i got four buddies that do it right now and we all were in some low places so with trt keeping a gallon of water a day is nothing it's not it's it's so normal and that's what i tell people it's like they have a headache and this and like you're drinking enough water let's start with that and bring yourself up and trt opens the door for everything else I, for me personally um with eating right the sleep that I get. I've never had nightmares or nothing like that, but being on TRT, I actually wake up and feel rested. You know, I can sleep and be like, I feel good, versus that constant up and down, wake, go to sleep, awake, you know what I mean, all night long. Yeah. TRT gives me that, a good baseline for everything. It has, and that's why my new thing is, it's helped me so much, because before, like, I have social anxiety. So my doctors never believe I could do this, nothing like that. Um, and taking this and I'm, what I'm trying to do now is get veterans to train in the gym whether it's CrossFit, powerlifting, just anything, stretch but come there, you're going to be with a bunch of other veterans and we can either talk during those exercises because sometimes you're in a gym with your, your buddy, the shit gets kind of deep and you guys can really open up to each other so it's the same thing, we can either do it before or um, after the workout or during it and then you get like that little veteran meeting and you know, it will blow some steam off, get things to other people and at the same time, you're helping your body. You're physically taking that next step every day to get better and better. With my injury, when I first found out my brain injury, I was 253 pounds when I got out. I was pretty big. And I lost over 100 of it in less than eight months. Um, my mom was a director at two hospitals down in Port Charlotte, Punta Gorda. All the doctors were trying to figure everything out. Taking blood, just trying to figure it out. It was all up here. So I would... Um, you know, I wouldn't eat, and I, it's not like I wouldn't try to think about it. I just never thought about eating and stuff like that. I'd go all day long. I was doing that fasting before it was cool. Um, so the MK677 really actually, the, the VA is giving me stuff for appetite and nothing comes close. This was actually, oh man, like I actually ate, but I was holding it on. You know, I wasn't losing my weight. I was actually holding it on and I, it was, two pills a day, a pill a day or something like that. In about two weeks of taking it, I felt the difference. Yeah, especially in the gym, I was like, yeah. Glutathione was amazing. It was a month long therapy and that month was amazing. Um, that got me back to knowing what feeling, my body feeling good is again. Um, healthy, it was, it was great. Five, six years ago, that's why when I heard you guys had it, I was like, it's like literally that you take it and you're like, wow. And then 
by three, four days, you're like, I'm thinking to myself, is this normal? Is like this what healthy feels like now? Um, I felt clean. I felt, yeah, the stuff. And that's why I tell people like, whole food and a lot of water. Get your supplementation, like you know, your hormone level check, and you'll be good to go. Oh, definitely, definitely. If you're trying to up your game, get to optimum levels. Titan's definitely the way to go. Um, it's bringing you back up to making you feel and know what good is again. What's up guys, John from Titan here, and I want to talk about another big question that I get. It is, John, how much or how many over-the-counter supplements or oral supplementation should I do? Um, and I respond back with, hey, listen, what are you deficient in or what are you trying to do to try to figure out, you know, what you really should be doing. But the fact is, is a lot of people overdo it a lot of the time on oral supplementation or over-the-counter supplements. They really don't know what these things do to benefit them. They have no idea what's really in these things and they don't look at the labels like they should or the ingredients or they have to deal with that asterisk and the little proprietary blend that we all see. So quality over quantity in all shapes and forms and everything you do in life. It's all about quality because you can get a, a whole bunch of nothing and it's really not going to have any value to you. Okay, So we want to look at what we're intaking in our body. So it's always good to supplement different things. Now, just for example, vitamins and amino acids. And everybody says, listen, you can get vitamins and amino acids from nutrition. So it's real simple to do, right? It sounds real simple, but it really isn't that simple. You'd almost have to be a perfect eater and eating all day long. Plus, let's not forget about our food sources, like the micronutrient content that we really get in some of these different food sources. Are we really getting the micronutrients and things that we really need to have our body properly run. And I'm telling you, in most cases, it doesn't do it. And vitamin D is a good example. A lot of people are vitamin D deficient. And here in Florida, I'm here, we get the sun all day. I've got a nice tan. I usually go out there and try to get at least 15 minutes a day. But during the week, I get a lot more. But I'm still vitamin D deficient. And a lot of people are in this category. Um, it's because our body doesn't absorb or, or process it properly anymore. So we have to supplement these different things. And vitamin D is just a perfect example because here at Titan Medical Center, we blood test and usually eight out of 10 people are vitamin D deficient or very low in vitamin D. And at that point, when you're low in vitamin D or deficient, it can cause a lot of different health problems, okay? Or you're not running at optimal or proper levels in your body like it should. So with these different things, make sure you guys know what you guys should be supplementing and don't overdo it. The reason you don't want to overdo it is you're taking all these different things in orally. If you're taking all these different things orally, I see like the, the pill challenge and people are swallowing 100 pills at a time. It's like, listen, your body has to break that down. And those ingredients in those pills or capsules or over-the-counter oral supplementation can cause damage to your liver because your liver has to process everything that runs through your body. Okay, it's like the filter for your body. And you might be putting a lot of stress on that and other organs in your body. So make sure you guys are educated on these things that you need to take in. Don't overdo it, okay? More is not always better, okay? So remember that. And quality over quantity. That's why me, I prefer the injectable vitamin amino acids. It's very simple, very easy. It doesn't have to run through my liver. It doesn't have to process through my gut. It's in. I know what I got. I'm running great levels because I can blood test and see. And it's just way more efficient and effective. So if you guys want to know more tips and tricks like these or have more questions you want to ask me, please DM us. If you guys want to get it on our injectable vitamin amino acid therapies, it's real simple and easy. Just call or text us at 727-389-3220. I appreciate you guys. Stay healthy and stay tight and strong. Titan Medical Center's exclusive and custom injectable vitamin and amino acid signature blends are a different approach to supplementation with injectable vitamins and amino acids. Many vitamin, mineral, and amino supplements are not well absorbed by the body when taken orally. For many people, barriers exist in the gastrointestinal tract to allow for adequate absorption. Administering an injection allows for much higher doses of the nutrients to be infused directly into the body. 
All of the nutrients we use at Titan Medical Center are natural and safe to be administered by injection. Scientific research demonstrates that a variety of conditions can benefit from the use of injectable vitamin and amino acids. A few of the conditions that may be helped using these techniques include anxiety, depression, immune disorders, hypertension, COPD, asthma, fibromyalgia, fatigue, diabetes, hepatitis, viral infections like the common cold, and body fat accumulation. The liver removes 90% of the nutrition you take orally. Injectable nutrition is available immediately for use by the body. For more information about Titan Medical Center's exclusive and custom injectable vitamin and amino acid signature blends, call us or text us at 727-389-3220 or visit our website at titanmedicalcenter.com. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Me and my beautiful wife here, Sharice, are going to give you guys <laughs> great information to hopefully take your relationship to a whole new level. Maybe enhance your relationship, maybe make things better. And you know what? If you're not in a relationship, that's okay too, because you can use some of this information with maybe some of your past experiences to go into a new relationship and take that one to a successful higher level. Do not utilize this information to make a problem in your relationship. Yes. <laughs> I've already heard that a couple of times in the episode, like, oh, that's a really good idea. Why have we not done that yet? Oh. Remember? Remember? Yes, and then yes. she went back to her husband. She's yes. like, you know, I was watching the show and they said this and I want to know why we haven't done that yet. Yes. And it was kind of like awkward. And yeah. so I'm like, just use this for positive things. And yes. if you have encountered something that we say and you'd like to apply it to your relationship, yeah. just apply it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, treat it like a newfound treasure, right? Don't don't treat it as something like, oh. How dare you? Yeah, because you know what? Your husband's not going to like me or her because of this. Yeah. Or vice versa. Yeah. Maybe the husband turns around the woman. I don't know how it goes. Yeah. But at that point, listen, don't do that. Yeah, don't do like that. like a brand new book that you're reading, right? Yeah. At that point, you, you've learned something new in this book and use that information for good and not evil yes these are right? just opinions okay. yes opinions. just opinions and well i don't know these are true well, 
facts in some cases. Facts for us because been, we've been through it. And a lot of experience, yeah. right, from us and people around us that we've learned from too as well because I think it's all a learning experience. But relationships are usually, um, they're original, right? They're, there's usually not two relationships exactly the same. No. Because right? there, there's different people involved, right? Yeah. Uh, and everybody's different. We're like snowflakes, but we're not snowflakes. Oh, gosh. Ah, uh-huh, I'm going to be in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay out of the cold weather. So, so, uh, you know, when it comes to this, you know, it's, you know, our topic for today is, is respecting each other's differences. Or your, 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 your opinions. Respect your opinions, differences. Perceptions. perceptions things that are out there and respect yeah. other people's too as well that's your partner mm-hmm. um so and this could be applied to general audience as well if you want to yeah. say that too this literally can um, be applied to it. you know because two people could look at the and this does happen a lot in mm-hmm. car accidents right you have four different witnesses <laughs> that see the exact same car accident and usually there's different details in everybody's uh, story what they tell the officers on the police reports and then they take the general mm-hmm. subject of all and then they they make the assumption of who was wrong who wasn't wrong what really happened here at this this accident or crash site so two people perceive things of the same event maybe differently or sometimes they might see it the same but you don't know this unless you communicate and talk which communication is key in any relationship mm-hmm. out there we talk about key, that too as well key. these are like some core things that you guys need to incorporate daily in you your must life communicate and relationship. please do not turn into a turtle yes yes don't go away don't don't shut down always talk about it and if you need some time to talk that's okay too let your partner know and i think they'll be all right with that in most cases not me <laughs> scenario <laughs> every relationship is different yeah. I mean, this goes for that you know john, if john has an issue i won't even let him get a minute to yeah. even think about it yeah. i'll just harass him until he talks to me about yeah. it and then you know it might come off way worse than it would have if i just gave him like 10 minutes to cool off yes but it's like no talk to me about it now tell me what the problem is why why are you upset Tell me now. Go ahead. Tell me now. 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 He's yeah. like, you want me to tell you now? I'm yeah. like, oh, maybe I should have given you. Maybe I should have given you that hour you asked for. Yeah. It. You know, you, you, you sometimes <laughs> sometimes it's good for a little cool period to gather your thoughts and, and come correct and and be more stable and unemotionable, unemotional, uh, when you're talking to your partner. And that's that's something that you know that you should you need to do. And it's hard because you're running off emotion. And most times Mm -hmm. it's passion, it's emotion, and it's hard to constrain. But with the respect factor, you know, there's there's a good example that me and Cherise were talking about the other day. Mm -hmm. And it was just a perception of somebody's profile line, right? Mm -hmm. And the profile line, it had uh, a female and it was, you know, sexually suggestive, I guess, you know, bikini shots, covered shots, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, (laughs) in nowadays standards out there. Yeah, this is like an everyday thing, right? Because I control our social media page and I'm looking at all these different things every day. <laughs> yeah, and sure. all of the you know, Instagram models out there. And he's probably this is probably normalized. It, for him. It's so I'm so desensitized to yeah. these things because of social media and, and even our TV or, and what we're watching nowadays in movies and stuff like that. You know, before when you were watching a TV show, they couldn't say certain cuss words. Those, that's pretty much out the door now. Pretty much. I mean, you can say and that's I mean, on regular TV. Yeah, that's on regular TV. That's couldn't not on cable it. TV like <laughs> HBO or anything it's like regular that. Regular TV. But, <laughs> wow. you know, it, it's gotten a, more mature in a lot of different ways, right? And uh, which wouldn't be even allowed on TV before. Think about this: Janet Jackson got in trouble or a big thing with Justin Timberlake because of a wardrobe malfunction, and her boob showed with a cover on it. Think about how natural that is today out there. You probably see that on TV all the time. I mean, they might black out the nipple or something like that, but they leave the skin. So I mean, it's just it's so that's crazy. like where I come into play, right? Yeah. So for me, and I am not definitely not on social media all the time because I'm really busy, right? So I might go on there twice a week. I put a post, and then I am off for the rest of the week yes. so that's just how I do it however I am a little bit more old school right and in Korea, I am only 35 okay I'm gonna be 35 forever by the way don't I don't age past this 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 age here 35 is it um but 35 you know, past expiration date <laughs> I don't have an expiration date <laughs> I have the what's the what's the thing that, that preserves you that they got at the you McDonald's know, now man I don't want no preservatives <laughs> in my no that's even worse <laughs> but listen so I'm still pretty old school right so regardless if if you have a profile 
uh, per se, and you are doing like provocative things or you have provocative things on there. And you know, it's, there's a difference between being like a classy, sleek provocative versus you're just naked provocative there that there's really i mean we're on abc so i can't even really use the exact verbiage that i'd like to use for these two scenarios but i'm still old school so you know and i'm i'm still the person like i'm a, i'm a female and yes i'm pull the woman empowerment out so i'm a female and i i deserve respect however if you want respect you should probably respect yourself because you can't expect someone to respect you it's almost like you know putting on a short little tiny mini dress and this low cut you know thing with whatever hanging out and then you go to uh, the bar right and then you walk past a couple group of guys and the guys whistle at you and start making all these little noises like little chipmunks right so when this happens you have to understand that you've put yourself in this predicament because you've dressed that way right now this might still happen if you're wearing sweatpants with a ponytail and you're like okay you're just now you guys are just being like obviously ridiculous but you know that's my perception on things like that and that's what we're talking about like different perceptions because John might look at something and be like, well, and then I might look at it and be like, ew. So, you know, it's just, I guess, you know, it's, you get to, I, you and I can't change, I cannot change how John thinks, you know, and John most certainly cannot yeah. change how I think. Yeah. However, we do have to respect how we, each other thinks, if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And then you got to be able to live with that. Then you have to compromise. If, if you can live with that, right? Because there's certain things Some that people, things you won't be able to live with. They won't, they won't be able to do. Some I mean, things will be intolerable. You know, it's the things you... No, no, no. What's that thing called? Uh, no, no, no OnlyFans. Yeah. No reason for OnlyFans. There, there's no fan... John doesn't need any fans. He doesn't need to watch fans. He doesn't need fans. We're, we're good there. So... <laughs> That's just how I feel about it, right? <laughs> I know no one would want to be married to me. I love John oh, unconditionally, my God. and he obviously loves me yes, unconditionally. For sure. Absolutely. <laughs> but you know, it's just yeah, uh, listen. Everybody has a different perspective on things, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And so you know, sometimes you're gonna have to just you're you're either gonna have to come to a compromise. Sometimes you have to c agree to disagree, and it just is what it is, you know. And sometimes you might be able to convince your partner when you talk to them about whatever it is. Maybe it's how you grew up. Like, I, I grew up, I, I wasn't able to do certain things. I wasn't even able to put on makeup on my face until I was 15 years old. Yeah. 15 years old. Yeah. So yeah, I grew up in a strict household to some degree. So I'm still a little conservative, I of think. Course. That's fine. I, listen, I'm conservative too. Mm -hmm. I, I like the 1950s style approach. I've always said that, old school in that light. Um, you know, it just, He's accepting 2022. You can't live in an old school life. You gotta adapt or you die. I mean, I'm, that I'm is what it is, you know? Die, so, you know, oh, you're not gonna die. I mean, listen, you can have these certain, you can have, listen, this is all about having your own perspective. Exactly. And, and, and your thoughts about things, and that's what makes our country so great and the way we are. But at that point, you know, some people, it is what it is. And like she said, you might have to agree to disagree or you have to compromise on things. And if you can't do that, then, you know, you guys are gonna be sticking each other with this left yeah. and right. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's going to be sitting there by the wayside and it's like an unhealed wound, right? When you can throw some salt back into it, yeah. it's going to hurt just as bad as it originally did. Yeah. So, you know, you got to make sure you make an effort to do this. The other thing that I see out there is, you know, and, and listen, what I would do or date or back then, you know, is a lot different today, <laughs> right? Um, but, you know, some people go after something that they like, they go after it, they want it so bad, and that person is doing something that they don't like, right? And they think, when I get with this person, I'm gonna change them. Mm. It's hard to change people. People are hard to change. You ever hear like a leopard can't Especially change its spots? Especially if they don't want to change. Really, like they're stuck there. So, you mm. know, it, it's it, it's false hopes, I guess, to a certain extent, yeah. if, if you do mean something like that. Or, you gotta respect it. That's, right. You know, that's just something that you're going to have to live with and you can't bring up and start throwing back in their face. It's kind of like a situation, and we won't say any names, but we had a, we have a really good friend of ours. Yeah. And he decided that he wanted to get with a stripper. Yeah. Um, and she that's what she does. For a she yeah. does that for a living, She's a right? dancer, yeah. A dancer on yeah. a pole. Yeah. So pole that's dancer. a stripper. Um, but, <laughs> so, but he got with her, and I don't know if he thought that maybe when he got with her, like, because he's... 
he likes to control certain you know situations. Yeah. But he, I don't know if maybe he thought when he got with her that he could change her. Yeah. And then she got with him because he, you know, he got likes to party and go out and have fun. And she got with him thinking she was going to be able to change him yeah. into not going out and doing whatever it is that he does, yeah. like party and club or alcohol, whatever. Oh, yeah. So, but that didn't happen. They got together. It was like, you know, peaches and cream for like, I don't know, maybe six months. Honeymoon period. Honeymoon period. Yeah. And then after that, it's like, wait, are you going to change? No. Are you going to change? No. Well, we got to come to some sort of agreement. The agreement is we're done. We're not changing and we're going our part in our ways. So, yeah. And that was what was best for them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know? But yeah. Um, it's, it's something that we look at here. And some people, as we get older and older, you don't want to waste time either. Mm -hmm. You know, and things time can be precious. fun for a short period of time but it might not be your long-term investment of what you want to do with your life and your valuable time because time is very valuable. We talk mm -hmm. about that too as well. So, you know, just, just be open to things. Don't let things, I guess, corrupt your mind. Respect people's boundaries and what they're doing. And at that point, respect yourself. That's yeah. the biggest thing out there. You got to have respect for yourself. And, and I get it, you. guys. I understand. It's 2022. Everybody's on this little Instagram, TikTok, or whatever it's called. And they're all wearing bikinis. And they've all done their fair share because I've met them in person. And I'm like, are you this? I will pull out my phone. I'm like, this does not look like you at all. I'm like, so confused. But, you know, there's all these filters. So you guys got to remember, like, there's a reality out there, right? And just because you see it online like that doesn't make it reality right, all the time. Right. So don't always think everything is, like, so perfect and it's people not. look so perfect and Nobody's their skin perfect. is so perfect and everything is perfect. Yeah. It's not like that. Not like that. The, the amount of filters that they have out there but between videos and pictures pictures and whatever else kind of filters it's crazy what they can do yep so just don't compare yourself to that and really really truly just respect yourself respect yourself respect your partner yeah and respect your loved ones yeah it's all about set those boundaries so it's been a great cupid's corner with you guys we'll be here every sunday for you guys on abc at 11 a.m make sure you guys dvr it if you don't do that go over to youtube Hit the subscribe button, the all notification bell. Ding. You can see this awesome show and a lot more cool content from Titan Medical Center. And if you guys are interested in our therapies, you want to feel good, look good, and perform better, you guys can always call or text us at 727-389-3220. Check out the website, TitanMedicalCenter.com, and see all the different therapies and how we can help you. So I appreciate you guys. We'll be back next Sunday for Cupid's Corner. See you then. That's our bell. Yeah, that works.